So you want to run Clipper on your printers. I'll give you a quick rundown. Um, it took me a while to figure this out and I figured I'd maybe save some hassle for you guys if you choose that you would like to obviously run it and not have to do the same headache pain that I had to go through to do so. Um, the only thing you're gonna truly need is obviously a Pi system. Um, Raspberry Pis are expensive, I get it. Um, if you can't find them and you don't wanna pay hundreds of dollars, don't. Um, there is an alternative. Um, I'm actually running what's called an orange Pi. I paid 50 bucks for it. It's equivalent to a Pi 3. So it does what it needs to do works just fine and it'll save you a ton of money you just get the one alley I'll, uh, I'll put a link you can check them out if you want um, it's worthwhile at least but anyways let's get to the meat before I run out of time so you want to run clipper here's some basic installation features that you can do and you can do it all in one shot as opposed to having to command code everything through their site this saved me tons of time so I'm going to assume at this point you have downloaded whatever firmware for whatever system you plan on using um, it needs to be obviously Linux. Um, it's, there's varying re reasons. Um, I use Ubuntu. There's a bunch of them. Um, so pick one you want. Make sure it's like a server-based one. There is ones that have a desktop option. They work, but I mean you don't need to because you're not going to access it. So server-based ones are your go-to. And uh, so here's uh, some basic setup, and it'll I'll walk you through it. So we're going to go to, to GitHub. You're gonna find this app, very easy. Um, this is an all installer. Um, it does a bunch of functions. So you will obviously open up your login option for your Pi operating system. You will log in. By this point, you should have your initial admin site um, and you will use this for your install. So what you'll do is you'll follow the sudo app install. Once this is done, you will obviously just command prompt, click in, Right click, my computer's being slow, changes directories, it does all the things for you. Obviously copying these codes will initiate your software. Once it's installed, clicking the other code will bring up this menu. From here, you can, as you can tell, install anything you want that's based off of this system. It does it all for you. You obviously install your firmware your Moonraker, which is the API, which is the what talks to your machine, and your web interface. You have the options of doing Fluid or Clipper. Um, and then from there, you can also do Octoprint if you choose to. It'll do all the directories, file them all for you. It's click, go, takes 10 minutes versus having to source them all out individually and do it on your own. The software that I use to access this menu is Putty. There's a varying other ones. Um, it works good I would just leave it as that and the other one is FileZilla the FileZilla will be opened up it's what you use to drag and drop all of your content into your server so once it's set up and you have your login you just use your master code you log in um, at this point you won't have a lot of settings your files are gonna be stored inside your clipper config file the only file you need to worry about is your printer.config this is the one that contains all of your information now, the best part is, you leave it in this folder, when you go to your clipper, you go to your side menu, and you go to the three dots, you can access that entire file, save and reset from the software. The best part about clipper is you can access all of your firmware, change your settings on the fly, without having to reflash your entire drive. That's saving you a ton of time, and it allows you for quick changes at a heartbeat without having to worry about spending 10, 20 minutes reflashing and recoding and it saves you time. Hopefully that'll help you. I took me a couple days to find this. And once I found it, I was like, wow, I just wasted hours fixing stuff. And this took me 20 minutes. So hopefully that helps. And if you have any questions, let me know.